Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 149 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this flight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Throws the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He got the turtle in that kick. Slips. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Whiffs on that offering. right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Able to check the high kick. Under three minutes remain in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Just out of range with that left hook. And both guys really throwing with authority. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. He somehow is managing to land oh! it. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad down. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Good jab. Oh! <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, nice right hand. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just misses with that one. now remain in the round. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. And they separate. Tried to go to the body, but unable to. Two winding down. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round and see Takas through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Second round underway. Nice kick there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. 
As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Elbow lands for him. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind him. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Liver kick. Big punch lands. Ooh. Big leg kick lands. Big kick lands. He lands with the left. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Three minutes. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. I need more out of you. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Nice head kick. He engages in the single collar tie. Trying to kick the leg out. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. out of range with the big right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. That's a big hook. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice right punch followed by a left. Up, 
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. And he landed the right hand there. And he oh, comes nice through knee. with a big knee. <laughs> Got clip with the right hand. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick lands. He blocks the punch. Jeez Louise. Nice body kick. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. It's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. That was a good leg kick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch it. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, collar tie. Huge knee lands from in close. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Job 
staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. 20 seconds left. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. Lands flush with that right hand. Waning seconds here of round number three. Good punch, Land. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Plus right hand is true. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Lee. Dig and kick. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. And that one was heavy. Liver kick. Switching stances here. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. What a body kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Now remain in the round. Lee's kick is blocked. Real nice body kick land. Gets up again here, but hurting. 
real sneaky body kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Hands high, hands high. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lou. That's a big strike right there. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Fifth and final round. There's no give on that leg kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. is blocked. Lands the right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Back and forth we go. Try to establish that jab. There by Lee. Campbell inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, caught him crushed with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Wow! Oh, big left. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Now into his mouth. Two minutes now to go in the fight. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, 
you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Nice. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lands with the right hand. You got to whip his hip into that kick. One minute to go in the fight. He's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Visibly limping here. 20 seconds left. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-44. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you gotta feel good about that. You gotta feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of his performance.